Hi guys, in this video I want to demonstrate to you a real life example publishing a new book on all the major platforms out there like Amazon, Barnes Noble, Kobo, Google, Apple, etc, etc, okay? And also explain to you other platforms out there that I'm not able to publish but set up for all the different mediums out there as an, for example, like a, as a paperback, hardback, you know, audio book, potentially, as, even as a YouTube, you know, online course to give you ideas to really maximize from one book, okay? So, uh, let's get started, okay? Alright, so the book is, uh, for example, purposes, zoom out for a second, How Expert Guide to Phlebotomy, uh, 70 Tips to Learning About Blood Draws, Lab Work, Panels, Plasma, Tests, and the Profession of a phlebotomist okay so let's check it out guys how expert with mckenna balsawix okay go check it out guys it's gonna be on all platforms out there this is the basic details and description okay just as example purposes okay so for those for, for, for those yeah guys who are curious about you know what does it take to have a publisher book or whatever or you want to work, work with collaborate my, myself and my publishing brand how expert this is the details that we need okay just write the guide and we're going to give you instructions how to write the guide okay in a step-by-step -step way ideally speaking seven plus chapters with 100 plus essential golden lessons slash tips slash you know golden nuggets that covers all aspects of this topic, okay? From A to Z, figuratively, metaphoric, metaphorically speaking, okay? So, uh, this is the topic right here. We got the description, everything about the author, everything. Okay, we got everything ready, okay? So, these are the main platforms again Amazon, Kobo, Barnes Noble, Google, Ingram Spark, Apple, ACX for audiobooks, Find a Way Voices for audiobooks. Additional platform in addition to ACX online courses at on udemy.com as an alternative opportunity. My identifiers is a place to buy the ISBN. IBPA online.org is a great place to buy your um, uh, codes for Ingram Spark if you want to get five free codes per month by purchasing your yearly membership. Which costs around for right now as I'm doing this video. It's going to change in the future. But around $120 or something like that. I'm not sure exact amount. Don't call me on that. $129 bucks, $100 something, $20 bucks or something like that. But it's well worth it. Like $10 a month or something like that. It's for me. It's especially if you're publishing about five books a month, it's well worth it. Next platform is Lulu.com. It's a great platform, in my opinion, to explore the. Uh, possibility opportunity to publish the book directly to the readers using uh, uh, opportunities like Shopify or um, other apps out there that uh, Lulu works with because Lulu has their own uh, app called Lulu Express something like that and they work with different Shopify and it works with different app that it works with the WordPress. I forgot the name exactly, but that's an opportunity to sell directly to the readers. So Lulu is a great platform. Okay, so having said that, let's move on. Okay, so the next platform is Kobo, uh, Kindle. Let me just get right to it. Okay, continue. So everything is good to go. Title, subtitle, I'm just double checking everything. Okay. Keywords, categories. Okay. When in doubt, if you're not sure, by the way, um, when you're not sure, just for our team members and whatnot, to anybody. If you're not sure about the category, it sometimes doesn't show up. I recommend you use general and if you need another category, reference. Okay, for that general category. If you can't even find the category, 
choose reference as the category and choose general. Okay, worst case scenario and secondary use reference. Worst case scenario, okay? Sometimes it's hard to find categories. I'll be honest. Okay, and I understand. Okay, the manuscript has been uploaded. Okay, shout out to our team members who uploaded everything. Okay, I'll actually upload 1.12. Okay, everything's good to go. I actually fixed that recently. 1.12. Okay. Uh, cover is uploaded. ISBN is uploaded here, but that's optional. You don't need that, to be quite honest. Publisher, that's optional too. And I'm going to click save and continue that. Okay, next. Save and progresses. Let's go faster, okay? Everything's good to go. I'm just going to go down here. I don't do KDP Select because I don't want to sell just on Amazon. I like to go wide, okay? Click Publish. Everything's good to go. Congratulations, your Kindle ebook has been submitted, okay? So everything's good to go. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, on Google okay so this is Google playbook store the title subtitle description everything's good to go the page count is actually believe it or not it's my my understanding is actually 89 so I'm gonna edit that for a second seven continue settings if you upload the PDF version on Google Play make sure this is yes okay that's important so for the PDF is visible okay because uh, Google accepts PDF version believe it or not okay everything's good to go continue save and continue everything's good let's click publish I don't know I just I should like on clicking publish. Congratulations, you successfully added your book to Google Play and Google Books. Fantastic. All right, Google is done. Let's move on to the next platform. Is Find a Way Voices, which is an, I wouldn't call an alternative. I would call an, an addition to ACX. Okay? They're as important as ACX, in my personal opinion. Okay? I make as much from ACX and on Find Away Voices now. Everything I upload on ACX, I put it up basically on Find Away Voices after I discovered Find Away Voices about a couple of years ago, which is an additional audio platform because I go non exclusive. Okay, I don't know who that is. Usually, span numbers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decline this right now, real quick. That's okay. Okay, that's okay because sometimes I get this. Sometimes I don't know who that is. Okay, moving on. And that's gonna be on YouTube. Fantastic. Anyways. So, anyways, um, yeah, so, we're moving on right now, um, so this is all the information I put, I gotta put nonfiction, grade level of adult, I gotta pick some categories for this topic, medical, so, phlebotomy, let me, That's great. Okay, great. So, medical. Wow. Sorry. Never mind. I thought it was. I got it. So, like I said, when in doubt, I'm not sure this. I know for a fact this did not show up in the categories. So, that's why I'm using general and reference. Okay. But I do know the main category, which is medical. Because phlegotomy, phlebotomy did not show up, unfortunately. So, that in that example, we're going to have to do that. 
But if it does show up, I'm looking still, then use it. Use general first, then reference, okay? Worst case scenario, okay? So everything's good to go. So we're going to do uh, save, save, save. Everything is good to go. $19.99 retail price and $49.99 library price, okay? Everything's good to go. Distribution, we're going to go over there. And then what we're going to do right now is what I do for my publishing business and publishing brand, how expert and beyond, is uh, everything except two platforms. As you can see, 43 out of 45. Go to view detail list to edit network for those of you who are independent business owners and publishers and authors, so published authors and whatnot. This is what I recommend, okay? Apple, Audible, Amazon, you uncheck because you want to work with ACX, which is owned by Amazon, okay? And I don't care if you make more money on Find Away Voices, personally speaking. This is just my opinion. Technically, you may be right, but it's so my opinion. I like to still have multiple platforms. That's why I always uncheck Apple, Audible, Amazon, which is the main place with ACX. I don't want to duplicate audiobooks. Okay, so that's how I do it. Then I use mo both platforms. I get the best of both worlds. All you got to make sure is non-exclusive on ACX when you publish an audiobook, okay? Generally speaking, if you do this on your own, do it yourself, okay? So that's uh, Find A Way Voices. Uh, it's one platform. Ingram Spark is another platform to publish the uh, hardback and paperback book if you uh, uncheck the expanded distribution on Amazon, okay? Expanded distribution that a lot of people may like me when I got started for my first hundred books. I just clicked on expand distribution because I'm like, yeah, why not? Little did I know that uh, you can do your own expanded distribution via Ingram Spark if you create your own account. I found out later on after I published like 200 books, you know, I published that again, but um, it was fine. So I took the opportunity to use Ingram Spark for hardback, which didn't come out on Amazon at the time. So we did like 300 plus hardback for nonfiction and 100 plus for fiction using a very special uh, code at the time, which is uh, not available all the time. But if you check out some websites, you can get the code up to five free codes a month on Ingram Spark. Um, but Ingram Spark is, has been a good platform. I did just get another refund book. This time, the second time, I got another book that was refunded, second mail. First time, it was like 50 plus books. This time, I only got one. So, that they do return. That's why I choose no refunds as an option for Ingram Spark now. That's Some book retailers don't like that, but that's, that's why I prefer now. If you want to purchase my books, don't refund. I don't want refunds. I'm sorry. That's how it is for it's too complicated for me. I want to simplify things. So don't only only buy books if you're willing to, you know, you know, go with our rule, no refunds. Okay, guys? Book retailers and whatnot. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Anyways, um Yeah. So that's Ingram Spark right here. Let's uh move on to uh, this example right here. The title, the uh, print. The ISPN, the language, and if you want to put the subtitle, make sure you click on that link right here. It's, it's an opportunity right there. Subtitle right there. The, the author contributors, use categories, and imprint, all the information, the dis uh, description, everything. Continue. Okay. So, your real life example, I guess, six by nine is what I like to use. Okay. Black and white cream, hardback, case laminate, glass, 90 pages. Okay. United States as a market, main market print cost is that for okay and uh price i like to do it uh, hardback 29.99 okay because i just like to keep it simple because i don't want to change later on okay because it costs all the time i heard to upgrade anyways uh the publication date is whatever the current date is and continue <laughs> okay print interior one second print interior and print cover i'm still waiting for the print cover i don't have it yet so all I can do right now is save an exit, okay? This is for the uh, hard cover. Let's move on to the next, which is the paperback example. We got the title, a language, print ISBN, which is a different ISBN. I own the copyright, yes, because I hired them through a platform called Upwork, and they signed our agreement. We got the contributor's name, everything. And by the way, this uh, subtitle, show more. We have the subtitle right here, okay? 
Got the imprint, subject, uh, audience, description, everything, keywords, and continue. Okay, six by nine, black and white cream, paperback, perfect bound gloss, page 90. Okay, this was a 25,000 word count uh, or book, 1995 for the prize. Check, check, check. We go down here, click continue. Publication date is today's date. Okay, we got everything here. Print interior, everything. Print cover, we don't have it yet. So we're going to have to save and exit for later on, okay? So right now what I'm going to do with these two books, we're just going to save and exit. Click on save and exit. That's, okay? That's what we can do, for example. Versus, but I showed you as much as I can for all those platforms, okay? Now the next platform is Barnes & Noble for an ebook. Okay, as you can see right here, I put the title, the subtitle, everything here. The description, everything here. Author contributors here, everything here. Boom, boom, boom. Save and continue. Next, next, next. And I'm going to um, uh, audience, language, uh, fiction and nonfiction, pick up to five categories, put a, a, a keywords out there. That's what I did right here related to the topic. Okay. Okay. Put the price for the ebook, which I recommend is $9.99. DRM, I say yes. Okay. Protection, I did that. Okay. Protection from all the different platforms. No for the next question. Yes for the next question. No for the is the content in this book in public domain. No. Do you have an ebook I span? Yes. I put the ebook I span. Save and continue. Okay. Tutorials. I skip that. Put on sale. Finally. Put on sale. Put on sale for Barnes and Noble. <laughs> yeah, it takes longer than you think, right? It's, uh, it does take a lot of you think, man. Publishing the platforms, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's fantastic. Okay, that's how it is in life. You know, you, you in life, in, in the internet, you only see the highlights. You only see the re final results. You don't see behind the scenes, okay? So what I'm trying to show you in these videos, all the behind the scenes videos, it takes a process. It takes a time. Not to mention the the, the, the work it takes behind the scenes behind me, my team to set this up as well and everything and etc etc okay so anyways uh, that's uh, Barnes Noble as an example Kobo, another platform shout out to Kobo which I believe is a Canadian company and they collaborate with walmart.com I believe the books that you publish in Kobo you should show up on Kobo and Overdrive which is a library platform okay so they're really easy to work with in my personal experience they don't ask you for details at all they just it's simple man simple platform everything's good to go publish a, a new design everything's good to go save and continue Okay, you get to pick three categories. I upload the ebook, ePub, or uh, ebook Word document version. Apply digital rights management. Yes. Uh, overdrive. We do three times the regular price, so twenty nine ninety nine instead of nine ninety nine. Uh, the detail for price is nine ninety nine, and everything ends with nine ninety nine. Save and continue. Okay. Publish ebook. We'll take it from here. Okay. So that's Kobo right there. Next platform will be ACX, which is a platform for um, audiobooks. But right now, I don't have the audiobook ready. Okay. On top of that, I don't have the um, Kindle published. But once the Kindle is published, what we're going to do is click on Add Your Title at the right corner. We're going to search for that particular book. Okay. But it's not here because I just published it right now, as you can see lobotomy or whatnot i'm gonna search for it <laughs> it's not here right now right but uh you search for it by asin number or bsi number one of those it's more accurate but uh once the book kindle version is, is approved by kdp then we go to acx which is also owned by amazon audiobook department and we're going to put it as an audiobook job on acx so an audiobook narrator could uh do the narration Okay, and then I can pay the narrator, and then we can publish it on Amazon, Audible, and uh, Apple. Okay, and after that, I can publish it to other platforms out there using a, a, an extra additional platform like Find a Way Voices and so forth. Okay, uh, YouTube, we'll see YouTube and my site and so forth. Okay, so that's uh, ACX right there, Find a Way Voices. That's another platform right there. Uh, I don't have the audio ready, but I prepared. Because preparation is, is key 
to success at the end of the day, right? So title, subtitle, description, all that stuff. I already prepared all that stuff beforehand because because it's so much faster. I have this all ready. Once the audiobook is finished, I could just come here and search, and I don't have to research all this stuff later on, okay? But having said that, all the details here, distribution, another important thing is to know and under distribution, if you're an independent publisher like myself, I uncheck, okay, are there 45 platforms I choose for the expanded distribution, okay? Um, I mean, distribution strategy, okay? Voice Plus I choose, okay? There's 45 platforms, make sure, view detail list, uncheck Apple and uncheck app, Audible, comma, Amazon, okay? Because you don't want duplicate audiobooks, okay? Then you're, you can't even use book, any other platforms. After that, you go to audio and you publish the audio forms here, audio files here, and go to overview and submit. Okay, that's uh, the example of Find A Way Voices. One of the last platforms right now is, uh, believe it or not, Apple. Okay, Apple is a platform um, for ebooks. Okay, so you can, whether you have a Mac or PC, you can use this platform, authors.ample.com. Back in the days, you needed a Mac, but now you can have either or. Do this web portal, what they call a web portal, okay? According to Apple. Um, Having said that, you do need an EPUB. So what do you need? You need the cover, which is easy, PNG or JPG version. You need the EPUB version for the EPUB, which is kind of uh, easy. And then you need a sample version, which I recommend, like the chat, the one or first 10% of the book, okay, in an EPUB format. So I have it here. I upload it, continue. Now I'm going to click and enter the title, subtitle, and the details here. So give me one second here as I do this, okay? Okay, one second. Or should I do it while you see it, okay? Hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me just show you. You know what? I'm just going to show you right now because, because like, wow. Pace here, I pace it twice. Sometimes the case is just faster that way. Sometimes it doesn't work. Then if that's the case, you know what? That's fine. Oh, are you kidding me? That's amazing, dude. That's absolutely amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. Let me make sure this is correct, though, man, honestly. Okay, go at the subtitle. Yeah, usually we ask for 101 tips or 101 or more. But uh, sometimes the, the freelancers can do less. It's okay. I'm not super strict about that, okay? It's all good. Let's do it, man. As long as the five-star quality, we're good. You should get remove the sentence that has a website link. Generally speaking, some platforms don't like it. I assume, so I remove it. Okay, I remove this too. This is unnecessary. Okay, that's great. That's, that's perfect. Continue. Okay, we're going to have to find some medical topics. Medical. Medical. 
when in doubt, use uh, general and, uh, and uh, general and uh, reference, right? So we're going to do general and reference first when in doubt because right now we know for a fact that the specific topic doesn't show up in the message I heard earlier. So a reference, just keep it quick, you know what I mean? Reference, this is fantastic. I see research, so that's a good topic too, general topic. So let's do research next, again, for time purposes. Sometimes if you don't find the topic, just find whatever is general that's close enough, okay? So I'm going to do for this, I already did reference. I'm going to do research next, okay? That's fantastic, cool. Continue. Publisher name, okay? We're going to put the publisher name, which is how we're expert. My publisher name, my ISPN, one second. So let's continue ISBN. I got the ISBN right here. Next, I'm gonna click upload book to iTunes Connect. Okay, real quick. Okay. Let me just uh, let me just do one point really quick right here. Okay, everything's good to go. Same thing. Okay, good. All right, Apple. I'm gonna wait for Apple because it takes a little bit of time processing. Let me see other platforms out there. Ingram Spark. Uh, IBPA online is a platform website you know if you become a paid member I think it costs around 120 something $29 a year something like that okay it may change the future um, they do give free five free codes every month for one year okay as a member so that's how I'm, I'm a main member of okay having said that that's for Ingram Spark okay? it's very useful if you are a author or publisher who publishes at least five or more books per month which is actually in my personal opinion at the top 10 percent of producer in my personal opinion so shout out to all the people who are doing that that's i know it takes a lot to do that okay uh especially uh get five plus or more and uh i'm, I'm gonna be honest i'm shocked myself publishing my our seventh book here my publishing brand um, this month this is insane absolutely I know every book wasn't 30,000 words most of them were this one was 25,000 one of them was 18,000 but everything else was five or other words five other books were 30,000 plus words so again uh, let me take a look real quick okay this was a yoga was a previous book so this again I gotta reconnect sometimes take some time and it will show up soon. Let me pause it for a second. Okay, finally, on Apple, it's uh, processed. So this book, How Expert Guide to Phlebotomy, How Expert with McKenna Balsewix. We're going to click on that. Okay. Now the next step is to click on rights and pricing. Next, okay, let me bring this down for a second. Add new country slash regions. Apply DRM. Base currency is United States USD. US dollar. Release type new, new release. Fiscal list price, generally speaking, 19.99 for the paperback. So I put 19.99. Suggested Apple Books price, which is an ebook price, 9.99. Okay, that's just an example right there. And then apply to countries or regions, select all. Okay. You scroll down, click continue at the bottom right. Okay, everything is here. Scroll down one second, click confirm. <laughs> Press it again. <laughs> okay. Scroll down, click done. Let me see. It's processing. Okay, scroll down, click done one more time. <laughs> That's a lot of clicking. Everything's good. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Our expert guide to flood botomy. Oh, 70 tips to learning about blood draws, lab work, panels, plasma, 
test in the profession of a phlebotomist. How expert was McKenna Bosswicks? Go check it out, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.